I'm going to show you how to make these Christmas trees. I use cones from Michaels, yarn, hot glue gun, and some decorations. Okay, so it's pretty easy and fun to do. Okay, so let's get started. These are the cones that I'm going to use. I got them from Michaels. They're about three to four dollars a piece. I'm going to place some hot glue on top and then coil the thick yarn. It's like a sparkle lime brand yarn and coil it on the center and then wrap it around and I'm going to gradually add a hot glue gun as I go. You don't want to do too much but you're going to need enough so it sticks onto your tree. Another way to use the glue gun is just in sections. Um, take your glue and place it in just sections so you're not over gluing. That's another way too if you find that you have too much glue on there. So this is what it looks like with it um, being finished and I'm going to add some like de decorations on to the tree with the glue gun. Um, so I have these little gems that I'm going to add um, and you can just take your glue gun and glue them on there and you can place those all over the tree. It looks really nice when it's finished. So for the small tree I'm going to take fun fur and regular yarn and I'm going to chain about 400 chains or so to wrap around the small tree and then this will make the tree really um, cute and fuzzy so you're just going to yarn over and pull through and continue on depending on the size of your tree if you want to try this one. Um, it did take more than a few hundred uh, chains to uh, create the fuzzy yarn with the regular yarn. So I did this the same way. I started on the top and I just coiled the yarn together. This is just a little bit of a faster speed because um, it's done the same exact way as the other one. Then I'm just going to add glue going the opposite direction this time. It doesn't matter which direction you do it in. And then I'm uh, just placing the glue around with the yarn each time I wrap the yarn ar around it. So it has something to stick to and just keep wrapping it around until you get to the bottom and then the tree is complete. It looks really cool when it's finished. So this is how this one turned out. I really like it. It's really pretty. I love the color red for the holidays. So this is both of them. Um, the one white one, I didn't add any uh, decor to it yet, um, but I'm going to later. And the red one is really fun with that fun fur. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and thank you for watching.